I purchased this M1102 trailer off Gub Planet. I picked it up in Dermo, California. I rewired the trailer lights. I didn't do anything fancy. Uh, I just cut the cable and went down to a four pin. We took off the Humvee tires and I put on some trailer tires just to make the trailer a little bit lighter and easier to move around during the conversion. This is a communications rack that I was able to pick up. I sprayed it with a truck bed liner, um, obviously a black, to give it that kind of rugged textured look. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I started doing some test fitting with the Roofness Condor XL tent and the Lightwing awning. Uh, then I started to purchase the parts and pieces that I needed for the power system. This is kind of the heartbeat of the trailer. We took a old Pelican case and we drilled some holes in it to get the cables out. Um, as you can see, we have the solar um, charge controller and the power inverter. So what you're looking at right now are some jerry can racks that I had for my truck. Um, for the move, I needed to put them on the trailer to kind of help balance the trailer out. So I put them there. Obviously, I don't have jerry cans, but they still worked well for what I needed. You can see the solar panel right above the Lightwing awning. And there's the heart of this trailer. From here, we can kind of control all the power systems. Um, I have a Bluetooth ability also, so I don't have to open up anything in this box if I don't need to or want to. I'm able to just control it from my phone. I have two cables that come out of that box that are one to charge the, the batteries from house power and obviously one that I can plug into like a surge protector or something. So you can see I have a full size tire. Uh, I had to get some wheel adapters made for the trailer. These adapters um, essentially go from the eight lug down to a five lug that my Tundra has. That way I can have one spare tire that works for both the trailer and the truck. As you see, we ran into a small issue because the trailer studs were too long for the adapter and nobody wanted to cut them off. So we had to take a bandsaw to get the cut started nice and straight and then use a grinder to finish cutting off the studs. Once that was completed, we were able to mount the two-piece adapter with no issues. And once that was done, obviously we were able to put on the Tundra tires um, with no issues also. Overall, uh, I'm really happy with the build. There's a few more things that I would like to do to kind of upgrade it, but it's been working well. We've traveled well over 2,000 miles so far, and it's fantastic. More to come.